One week to go from the midterms, two of the biggest races this cycle happening in the same state, Pennsylvania, as polls in the Senate and governor's race there get tighter ahead of Election Day. Joining us now for more is Pennsylvania State Senator and candidate for governor in Pennsylvania, Doug Mastriano, back on with us this morning. Uh, Senator, great to have you back on. Good to see you. Great to have. Uh, thanks for having me back on. Good to see you. We're seven days away. It's going to be one of the biggest upsets. Uh, the latest polls have us in a statistical dead heat, although being outspent, we're just outworking the other side, which is fantastic. Yeah, you have been canvassing the state east to, east to west for the last uh, yes. several months. Um, so this is what I, I, I'm looking at right now. When you look at the, the early voting that's already happened in that state, huge numbers, <laughs> almost 800,000 on this Tuesday morning. Um, but there's still about 5 million people tend to vote in Pennsylvania uh, for midterms. So... 500 more registered Democrats in the state, so you're, you're, there's a deficit there. But there's 1.2 million independents in the state of Pennsylvania. How do you reach those voters? Yeah, on early uh, voting, yeah, they normally break 4.1 to, to Republican. Right now it's breaking 3.5 to Republican. So we're, we're, we're slimming that down a little bit. Still a big margin there. You know, on the other side, you're absolutely right. The key factor at this point in this race are the undecideds, which tend to be the independents and the uh, we're reaching them with uh, talking with the uh, kitchen table topics here. We're talking about law and order and crime and specifically what I'm going to do about it. You know, a lot of background noise on the on the federal Senate race. It's an important race, but there's nothing a federal senator can do about crime and the economy in Pennsylvania. Right. So I'm talking about that, talking about school choice, talking about inflation and how I'm going to have an economic renaissance in our state with unleashing our energy sector. And uh, last we checked. Independents are breaking for me, you know, six slash seven to one. So this this is how we're going to pull it off. It's with the independents and undecided. The left has labeled you an election denier. That's been an issue with you from the start, according to the left, by the way. They don't care about Stacey Abrams, a bona fide election denier. She lost yeah. in 2018, did not concede that election. Looks like she's going to lose again next Tuesday. Is that an issue? Is that a big issue with Pennsylvania voters? You know, it's, it's kind of funny. So I'm a senator, and under the U.S. and state constitutions, as a legislator, I have a oversight on the matter and conduct of elections. So it's actually my job to ask questions. And to simply ask questions about an election makes you intellectual and curious. It doesn't make you election denier. I mean, these people are so ridiculous on the left that you ask you know, questions makes you election denier. No. We just want to have answers. People across the state have questions. We want to make things better and more secure. The election happened, and yeah. we just have questions. Uh, you know, on the other side, has it hurt me? Absolutely not. I mean, for the hardcore base, radical left-wing Democrat, no, nah, they won't back me up here. But people, that's actually, you know, people, people want to say, you know, the advisors don't talk about the you know, election integrity. Right. That, that's like the fourth or fifth most important topic in the state, you know, behind crime and behind. Well, that's why I asked, economy. with so much going on, does it even matter to voters right now with, with where Joe Biden has put us in just 22 months? Um, I want to talk yeah. to you about the Obama yeah. factor. Barack Obama is going to be back in Pennsylvania this week, this weekend, with Joe Biden. Biden, apparently. Donald Trump's going to be back in Pennsylvania on Saturday as well. They'll be dueling rallies in the eastern and western parts of the state. Um, does that help or hurt your candidacy? It absolutely hurts them. It, it reminds the, them of the dark times. Like it or not, you know, Obama is tied to Biden. That was his uh, vice president for eight years, and Obama worked hard to get Sleepy Joe in. Uh, we're going to have Donald Trump on Saturday, uh, and just compare the optics. You've covered this. You'll, you'll see 10, 20,000 people at our rally outside of Pittsburgh, and you'll see maybe 100 or less over, you know, attending Biden or Obama's rallies right. when they come into town. It does not help them at all because everything is falling apart underneath this current administration. Doug, let me ask you about uh, the Senate race happening in your state and the coattails that they could provide for your race as well. Pittsburgh Post-Gazette this morning um, says that Dr. Oz is the better candidate of the two because of John Fetterman's health. Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, biggest newspaper in all of the state. Uh, after that debate, which was last week, um, we haven't really seen a lot of polling. Penn State did a poll that's got Oz up by three points. Um, what do you make of that race and the direction it's going next Tuesday? Yeah, obviously, the debate completely changed the environment for that election. And, uh, you know, I believe that will help us in the end. For the longest time, it felt like we were, we were helping Oz more than the other way around with, with the base that's so energized. And, but that debate performance uh, was absolutely superb, and this is why I'm a bit frustrated that my opponent has absolutely refused to debate me because yeah. I'll make him worse, look, look worse than John Fetterman. I'd smoke him like a cheap cigar, but he's a chicken. He won't go on the stage with me because he, he's terrified that that's going to happen to him, too.
That, that's the only credit I give John Fetterman is he actually stood up there and, and yeah. tried to make it through. Yeah. But, but Katie Hobbs and, and Josh Shapiro both refusing to debate. Right. Uh, that should be standard in any race. Voters need to hear from they need to hear from candidates. It's so important. That's right. um, OK, we appreciate having you back on Pennsylvania State Senator Doug Mastriano. Good luck to you next Tuesday. Thank you. All right. No crooked, crooked establishment. establishment. None of that twisting, twisting the truth. truth. No talking down don't to me. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me, me how, how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.